All right, so here's the scoop. I've been looking for a new design contest to enter for absolutely ages. So when Crusher came out with his Crusher DC2, you know I just had to start cooking. This is Mirage Mercury. It's a balanced type and it is a very funny Beyblade. So yeah, nothing else to say. We're just gonna get right into it. We, the layer. The Lair Mirage Mercury is a balanced type layer that is fairly round, but also has a lot of aggressive points, which fits the balanced type nature. Now, I know that some of you are going to look at this and see this and go, eh. Yeah, it uses 1x4s under some of the contact points, which have kind of a mixed reception in the community. Some say they're fine, some don't like them. I'm kind of in the middle where I say they can be good if you do it right. Now, how I did it was I used these teeth pieces to cover up the main recoil points, so those points won't be problematic anymore. And honestly, I just cannot find a better way to make this layer as wide as it is on all the sides, but um, yeah. Either way, I think the shape of this layer is quite unique, especially with these pieces, which are also on Extreme Exo. And also, I don't see these tooth pieces that much on some designs. Also has a nice half and half color scheme, which I love to do that. I really need to do that more often. But yeah, taking a look at the underside, it looks pretty different from most other layers because this is compatible with the Reboot Driver, very similar to the underside of Revenge Reaper. Now, obviously they have this square, I'll explain why that's there in a sec. But, um, with that, let's just move on to the chassis. The chassis. The chassis is FB, which stands for Filler Balance. If you guys will remember um, Reaper's Revenge, it also has a filler chassis that only has two sides on it, called Filler Attack. So this is the balance type version of it. Now, while it is compatible on other layers, I don't recommend you do it because the shape is absolutely ridiculous but it can be done. Really, it's just meant to fill in these gaps on the layer. It doesn't fit as flush as the ones on Reaper's Revenge. As you can see, this one is more flush, but it does still uh, fill in the gap um, good enough for me. So yeah, nothing else to really say about the chassis, very basic. So let's move on to the driver. The driver. This is Fusion X, which stands for Fusion Extreme, has the same tip as the Fusion driver that released on Cliff Gaia. And um, yeah, this driver is very large. It has such a wide surface area with the main tip right there. And this um, rounded part can hit the stadium and do some very funny movements. Putting this whole thing together, we have a super round, chunky Beyblade that should maybe have some good defense or stamina or something like that while also being decently aggressive thanks to the Fusion X tip. Now this Beyblade is a balance type in the same system as Reaper's Revenge that is compatible with Reboot. You know what that means? The other driver. The cooler one. Of course you know what that means. This is my very strange generate driver. I say that because it is built in a very weird way which I'm gonna show. Taking this driver apart into the main components, we have the outer shell, the rubber bands, the tabs, and then the tip itself. So the tip itself is built in a similar way to the one on Reboot. However, now the slopes are inwards instead of outwards. And also, the end of it has a rounded bar instead of a normal bar, which is much more effective at staying in the center of the stadium. Uh, definitely much better than a normal bar is because that's like a flat this is round so you have that um, then we have the shell which is the exact same the rubber bands we have two well, a large one and a small one and then there's the tabs which these parts are very strange looking but it's a very specific build and it took a very long time to come up with these um, basically we have these teeth pieces instead of slopes because they are just the right size um, to fit in. We of course have the parts that um, go through the rails on the driver. We have these plates and these um, bar pieces that keep the rubber bands in place. And then these parts which keep the tabs from flying out. That's why there is that 2x2 two two space underneath the layers. Because unlike Reboot, Generate can um, be pretty unstable sometimes and the tabs can fly out. But with these slopes, it fixes that issue. Putting this thing together is about as easy as you'd expect. You put in the tip. You slide in the tabs, and you also have to make sure that they're flat, so just press them up against the table. Then you can slide them in perfectly. And then, of course, you wrap the rubber bands around the driver so it has the proper resistance. And there we go, there is our generate driver. Now we get to put this on the layer. As you can see, these parts are exposed and they easily fit into this 
um, square. So now you can pull them out, but then they'll stop and the tip sinks in just enough. So yeah, there is our secondary combo, um, Mirage Mercury Generate. So now let's get to the weighing, let's do the test battles, and yeah. So now we're gonna weigh the parts, the layer is 19 grams pretty heavy the chassis i don't expect much from it it is i cannot tell oh that's 10 grams okay and then the driver i think this might be the heaviest driver yeah four grams pretty heavy so the full bay blade all put together is um around 30 33 grams okay that's pretty good i think that's lighter than reaper oh no they're the same okay and then, of course, let's weigh Generate. Generate is 17 grams. So, overall, this Beyblade weighs 36 grams. That's a pretty decent weight. So, yeah, now we're going to do the test battles with both of these stock combos. All right, we're at the stadium. Let's give this guy a test launch in the normal stock combo. Three, two, one, two. Three. Yeah, pretty balanced, nothing too, too crazy, moves around quite a bit. Now let's put it in Generate, and then we'll try it out in that combo. Three, two, one, go shoot. Do know that this needs to scrape up the bench a little bit. Maybe I'll, like, sand down the studs later on, but, um, you know, we'll see. So it goes around, and then it switches into Stamina Mode. That That is so cool to watch. So, um... Yeah, let's do some test battles now. We'll start in the normal stock combo, and then we'll move on to generate. Our first opponent will be Glyph Gaia, because I don't get the chance to use this guy. Shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. There we go. And Gaia gets destroyed. Flies into one pocket, gets flung into the other. So now that we did one battle in that stock combo, we are now going to switch the combo. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Oh, a piece broke off. Looks like it's now in stamina mode. And... Oh, it does win. I guess it does have decent LED properties. Alright, this kind of shocks me. I thought that this mode would be terrible because Generate sucks in real life, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Let's hope that stays true when it faces up against Hyperion. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. There we go. Wow. Alright, Hyperion has turn from the pocket. That piece breaks off. Oh. And, oh, death by scrape. Hyperion takes it. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Looks like it's already in the stamina mode. It contains these hits pretty well. Oh, I think it just barely won by a spin finish. That's crazy. Face it up against another Beyblade with the Exceed driver. We have Extreme Exo. Which actually got a minor upgrade. It has more burst resistance because it has an extra stud and the metal balls are larger. Go shoot. Go shoot. Oh, and it manages to burst Mercury. That's awesome. The driver flew out of the stadium. Now let's generate. Go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. to get a burst and it also just destroyed it that's crazy i think i made extreme exo a little op but you know what that's okay and for the final battle it only makes sense to put it up against reaper's revenge three two one go shoot go shoot <laughs> It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Reboot versus Generate. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Alright, that answers that. So that was my review on Mirage Mercury. So this Beyblade looks pretty cool, pretty fun gimmick. Hopefully I win the design contest. So yeah, comment, like, subscribe, stuff like that. And I'll see you in the next video.